Hello, I'd like to explore some um, learning experience design possibilities with an app called Genially. If you're not familiar with what Genially is, uh, I have embedded this little video, intro video, that you will uh, be able to interact with below uh, in the comments below this video. I'm gonna focus in on the functionality for the classroom and talk about how I believe that this can uh, provide for some really, really robust active learning possibilities for you and your students. So uh, unless you work in a school that has uh, either Canvas or Schoology, you do not have the ability to embed any of these awesome third-party apps into the G Suite. Uh, and that is, a, that is a major, major um, functionality that is missing when you are working with Google Classroom, Google Slides, and Google Docs. And the net result uh, sometimes is that you create um, robust assignments within Google Classroom, asking the students to perform this function first and then do this function second and go to this Padlet third, and um, it can be confusing and bloated. So I would like to explore a way to avoid that or an alternative leveraging this app called Genially. <clears throat> because Genially allows you to embed any website uh, or multiple websites actually, multiple web apps, in the same page, you can create activities where the students have the activity as well as the call to action or the um, uh, assignment or the activity that you would like them to do side by side on the same page. Uh, if you're not sure what embedding is, again, there's a little video here that you can pull up um, to explain what it is that I'm talking about um, when I talk about embedding. So here's an example. in. Uh, many, many uh, teachers are using these third-party apps this year, Nearpod, Quizlet, Edpuzzle, as well as Google Forms. And with Genially, you could create an activity where you would do an introductory lesson around cellular respiration. Um, and then on the next page, they would, the students would have the ability to uh, practice some of the vocabulary that they just learned. Then you could do a deeper dive with uh, a video embedded from uh, Edpuzzle, and then finish with a form, uh, either a formative or a summative assessment with Google Forms, all within the same genially. The students are never going to leave that page or this environment, much like what we're doing right here. <clears throat> Which apps are, are available? This is not an exhaustive list, but this is a list of the leading uh, educational apps that I was able to find and it allows you to explore um, each one of them. So if you're not familiar with, say, let's, ge let's try GeoGebra. So each page that you have here for the apps have an example of what GeoGebra would look like embedded on within the Genially page. Genially page. If you don't know what Ge uh, GeoGebra is, you can click on the About, and there's a short video to give you more information. If you would like, if you know what GeoGebra is and you would like to know how to access the embed code, you can click on the How button. Each app has that uh, same setup with an example on the page and then About and How down here at the bottom. So you can just go through and say, oh, I, I didn't know that ThingLink uh, allowed me to embed uh, material right here into the page. So those of you that are not familiar with ThingLink, it allows you to create interactive pictures and videos. So this is a picture of a magpie. So when I click on these buttons, so each of these apps has the ability to embed, so you can explore each one. Then where it gets really interesting, uh, is where you can actually smash some of these apps together. And I've created a couple of examples here for you to explore, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what other uh, people can come up with in terms of how you could craft uh, a learning experience where the students are interacting with the material here and having a discussion within uh, Padlet, for example, in this example. In this next one, we're going to leverage uh, listening to a podcast, which is a highly, uh, highly uh, effective learning experience, in my opinion, as well as having an ongoing conversation with an app called YoTeach, which is like a back channel chat. 
or you could embed YouTube, but uh, you can see here Genially has the ability to annotate over the page. So as the kids are listening to the video, they can actually interact with uh, and be listening more closely to the video and then check for their understanding over here. There is no way to um, give them, give the students feedback or capture any of this. So this is just more of a way to um, encourage active engagement with the material for YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of people that are leveraging Google Slides for uh, interactive note taking. So this would be a class note taking activity where each student has a slide within Google Slides and they have an opportunity to engage with this material over here and explore all of the uh, battles of the Civil War while taking notes actively side by side. So, you know, you can do this activity uh, without Genially and the students would go from tab to tab and go back and forth or might have to do a split screen. But here within the page, as you can see, it's all built right in and you can um, keep it self-contained. The next activity uh, would be a similar uh, uh, activity leveraging Google Docs, where the students are, are to read this passage. There's no, this is a um, view only Google Doc uh, embedded within Genially. And then I have um, an example of a Google quiz uh, or a Google form uh, where the students have to read and then respond to their, uh, the prompts over here on the side. Again, side by side, don't have to go back and forth, open tabs, close tabs. <clears throat> Nearpod is a very popular ed tech tool that's being leveraged during remote learning, and uh, I'm a big fan of their app. But in this particular scenario, we have the ability to do a complete a Nearpod, but also I was able to allow the students to have some resources over here on the side. So it's available to them if they need it. This particular uh, example has to do with the periodic table. So they're, they're completing the activity here within Nearpod, but you can give them supports outside of Nearpod, all here wrapped within the same page on Genially. So that gives you an uh, introduction, hopefully, to the power of this app. And I would love to have you uh, join in in the conversation. So here's an example where I have a Flipgrid uh, conversation that you can jump into if you're comfortable and familiar with that, or you can jump in to the Padlet conversation, you can certainly jump into both. What questions does this bring up? Uh, what ideas do you have? Um, how, do you, how do you see this being uh, something that you could take into the classroom and, and benefit your students in terms of active learning and engagement? Uh, I hope this makes sense and I'm looking forward to seeing all the different ways that you can leverage the power of this tool uh, moving forward. Thank you.